through MIGF with the collective marketing that you mentioned, um, we will find that, th that we are trying to attract members of public uh, who may be attracted to a certain type of cuisine or certain type of restaurant to be reintroduced to other restaurants that they may not necessarily have looked at before. So um, that's what I'm looking for. That's why I think MIGF is going to bring value to uh, this league of restaurants that's been created. Yeah. This cross-marketing platform uh, is something that should be done more often and um, restaurants like ours actually need to, uh, you know, to, to get our name out. We are putting a lot of effort into creating the uh, MIGF uh, menu and um, if it does very well, it's something that we want to continue um, throughout the whole year. Um, the MIGF menu is created to be a sampler yep. of uh, what Malay, Malay cuisine is about in yep. particular. It's not just about Kelantan Delights. Mm -hmm. And um, we find that uh, we have a lot of foreign guests coming in and they usually do not know exactly what to order, but they, they are willing to try. And that is what the MIGF menu is uh, actually you know, out to, uh, set out to do. Yep. And um, I think it will do very well and it's something that I want to keep on going for the rest of the year um, as an introduction to Malay cuisine. Kelantan Delights, as I mentioned before, is an old brand. It's been around for about 12 years now, but we are a young team trying to take it forward, um, looking at uh, the biggest F&B names um, and trying to emulate what they've done for Malay cuisine. So um, we are really excited to be part of MIGF uh, to fly the Malaysian flag um, for our local cuisine.